How's it going? Let's go to see you guys. What? What's that? We can't understand it. We are not. We're just talking about... Oh, I'm just... This thing. Oh, oh. Ha. Ha. Sorry about that. Oh, no. Wait a minute. I'm underwater. I need this thing. Ha. Ha. Yeah. Ha. Ha. How did I scream underwater and say I'm underwater and I need this thing without this thing? Crab? Any answers? What? Look at my back. <laughs> I don't even have an oxygen tank. This won't do me a lot of good with that oxygen tank. Well, obviously I'm fine. What's that? Why am I wearing these on my hands? Well, I don't know. Why not? Why do you have so many questions? Anyways, my name is Diver Dan. I think we met earlier this morning, and we were here under the sea together at VBS. Deep Sea Discovery. Deep Sea Discovery. Beautiful. It was a wonderful day. It was day one, and we talked about my good friend Jonah. Um, if you don't mind, I'm just going to take this off. The water's not even in my eyes. It's fine. It's fine. I appear to have a mustache, but it's fine. It's fine. My goggles are a little dirty. Here, hold on. I like wearing my hat under sea. Why not? Okay, so today at Deep Sea Discovery VPS, we were in this wonderful deep world of God's love. So, so today we heard the story about Jonah. My good friend Jonah, you remember the guy. Yeah, Jonah has spent some serious time underwater. Now, now look at me. I'm very comfortable under the water. My, my fish friends can tell you. Crab friends, Nemo and Nemo, and purple fish, the dolphins. This is a ship. It's just here. I've spent some time underwater, okay? But Jonah, Jonah has spent some time underwater. See, we talked about the story when God told him to go to Nineveh, and he went all the way the other direction. And he got on a boat, kind of like this one. It stayed above water. And he, as he was sleeping on the boat, the storm came from God, and it was rocking, and the seas was raging. And, and Jonah finally tells everybody, it's because of me. It's me. You've got to throw me over the boat. And everyone's like, dude, we don't throw people over a boat. Okay, that is not okay. Just like Nemo over there says, my mustache is not okay, but you just hush Nemo, it's fine, looks great. Okay, so Jonah, they eventually say, okay, so they throw him over the boat. And sure enough, the storm stops. But that means Jonah's underwater, kind of like me without oxygen. But a fish comes, much larger than you, Nemo. A fish comes and swallows him up, kind of like a big whale. It's huge, it swallows him up. And for 30 days, Jonah is in the belly of the whale. I mean, can you imagine? Can you imagine? What's that? Oh, uh, his cousin got swallowed by a whale. Sore subject. Sorry about that fish. Okay, so Jonah got swallowed by a whale. And for three days he was in there. And while he was in there, decided, you know what? God told me to go this way. I went that way. And now here I am. God found me. And Jonah finally says, God, I'm going to do what you told me. And so the whale spits him up on the shore. He goes to Nineveh like he was supposed to. And he tells all the people about God like he was supposed to. And man, those people in Nineveh who seem to be really, really bad, kind of awful, terrible, not go, no, like people you don't want to hang out kind of people. You know what I'm talking about? The bad people? Well, those people, God changes their hearts and they fall and they turn towards the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, much quicker than Jonah even did. It took a whole fish to get his attention. Yeah, but then anybody didn't even take it and swallowed up by a fish. Mm -hmm. So, that was the story we learned today. Tomorrow, you gotta make sure to come back because we're gonna talk about a really cool story. This is this is one of Crab's favorites, isn't it, Crab? By the way, the Crab's name is Herman. Yeah. Herman, one of his favorite stories. This is where Jesus is walking, not in the water, 
but on the water in a raging sea. It's a crazy story, crazy, crazy, crazy. So you gotta come back and we're gonna sing songs about how God is always with us no matter where we are, what kind of craziness is going on, and we're gonna learn about Peter and Jesus in the middle of the raging sea, and we're gonna have some crafts and games and awesome snacks again. I mean, you just gotta come. You gotta come, but be sure this is important. Listen up, Herman. You've got to invite your friends, okay? So all of your friends, anybody you know who would want to come, you got to say, hey, come to VBS because we're going underwater and come meet Diver Dan. I'd love to meet you. And so would my mustache. Okay, so I will see you here tomorrow. Now, here's the really important part. You've got to bring food because we're collecting lots of food for our friends at an elementary school here. It's food that goes to families who don't have a lot of food. So one of the ways we're showing God's love is by bringing food. And everyone should have brought home a list with all the food stuff on it. So make sure you bring that, okay? Bring the food and put it in the boxes. Really important. Okay. All right. Well, I will see you guys tomorrow. I've got to go do some more discovering in the deep sea. Don't really need this, I guess, but... I will. <laughs> Went in row. See you guys. Oh. Can always know